Hi everyone. I'm going to do a solo playthrough of Puzzle Dungeon. And as you'll see here, it actually does say a solitaire card game for brave monster hunters. This is a very compact game. You can probably just put it in your pocket if you have um, a big enough pocket. But um, in general, you can probably just carry the cards you need because there's more cards than you might need in here in terms of the number of heroes. But I will um, show you what what the the game looks like and I'll, I'll do a playthrough of it and um, hopefully you'll enjoy this game enough to buy it. I'll definitely put a link um, in the description to where you can get this. You can get it from Etsy actually. So um, this this game designer, I think his name is Brian Garber. Um, it's interesting. I don't think his name is actually on here. Maybe it's on the on here. But um, yeah, again, I'll put, I'll put the link down below and um, we can get started. So there's a bunch of different cards here. There's going to be a bunch of the, the monsters um, and this is the king side and that will be relevant later, but the monsters will actually start at the um, the other side without the the crown icon and there's about there is 20 of them and to set the game up you shuffle them and then you lay them out like this in rows and columns of five And you'll see here as an example of one of the monsters, um, the top right is the type of monster it is. The bottom middle icons, it could range from um, a different, you know, various types of, of icons, swords, helmets, um, I'm guessing those are gloves and candles. Let's see, they, no, they call it sword, wand, hand, helmet. So uh, these, these are wands. Um, and then the top left is actually after you defeat this monster, you can actually exhaust this to use this towards um, one of these icons that you have to use to defeat the monster. I'll get more into that in a bit. And then we have just the, the deck. So we'll shuffle that. I believe there's 30 cards in here. Um, let's see, uh, 32 arsenal cards, that's what these are called. And then you draw out, I believe it's six. Um, you start off by drawing out six of the arsenal cards. Um, let me just double check that. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So unfortunately not too much um, variety. I don't, I'm missing a sword. Um, so we'll see what happens because these three monsters actually need swords and to defeat the monsters you can only defeat the ones in the front so um we might have some issues there and then the rest are just the hero cards and i'm going to just start off with kind of like the easy easy one to start off with this um playthrough and it's going to be rogue so i'm going to use rogue and basically this rogue requires me to win the game by getting four of these monsters with this icon, two of these monsters with this icon, and two of these icons with this monster, uh, monsters with this icon. And then when you defeat a monster, you draw a card. So every time you defeat a monster, I get to draw a card. And then you'll see this trophy icon. Um, and that means if you defeat a monster that does not match any of these three icons, they're actually a trophy because they're not going towards any of your um, your goals here. They're kind of just extra. So you do get a bonus, and that bonus includes for the rogue, reverse the order of the monsters in any column. So that might be helpful to say since maybe I, I won't need this one, but I do need this and this, I might want to reverse the order of this column. So that, that might serve to be very useful. Um, and then starting with, I get to draw a certain amount of cards. And let's see, I think, I 
think I get, I get six cards. So one, two, three, four, five, six into my hand. And basically I'll be able to use a combination of any of these icons, the sword, the hand, the wand. Um, if I had a helmet, I'd be able to use that. Any of these to satisfy any of these um, icons required to defeat these monsters. Coupling also with the, the front of the arsenal. So this card I can use. I can't use any of these yet until the front is gone. And then I can use the next front card, the next front card, and so forth. So you can always just use the top card right here. Um, and you can see what's coming up. So you can kind of plan ahead, which is nice. Um, and then I should mention, once you defeat um, three of the same icon monster, the fourth one becomes the king side. So you flip it over to show the king side. And the king side tends to be a little um, harder. Um, and also, you... You, you'll see the effect on it, and it comes into effect immediately. So that's something to keep in mind. All right, so let's get started. Um, so again, I'll need four of the gray, two green, and two blue. And whenever I defeat a monster, I draw a card. So I'll, I'll be doing my playthrough now. Um, so looking at these four monsters I could kill, I would, I would like to defeat these two since they satisfy my goals. So let's see if I can do it. So I have a sword, maybe for the cultists, I'll do the sword. Um, the wand, I use this helmet from the arsenal and this hand from the arsenal. And it, it actually might matter what you discard, the order that you might discard, because some cards um, refer to the bottom of the, of the discard pile. Some refer to the top of the discard pile. Um, it's just a matter of what you think might happen. So I'm just going to randomly put it down. And then we defeated the cultist, which is great. And the loot effect is discard up to two cards from your hand and draw two cards for each card you discarded. So I think that will actually be pretty useful. Um, so I'll go ahead and do that. I think I'll discard one of my... Um, you know what? Actually, no, because I thought I, sh I would discard a hand, but I'm going to need two hands here if I want to get through this. So I don't think I will do that unless I have to. It doesn't say may. It says discard up to two cards from your hand. Discard, draw two cards for each card you discarded. Um, I guess I don't need to do it if I don't want to. Um, anyway. So let's move on. Let's see what else we can do with our cards. Um, so I'd like to try to get this. I don't need this, this, or this. Um, but for my rogue, I, when I defeat a monster, I do draw a card, which is great. So I draw a card. I got my third hand. So maybe now I will. So when you do this effect on your um, hero card, you actually don't need to do it before. Um, you don't need to do it after you get to choose which one you want to do first. Um, so let's say I did this first, realize now I have three hands that I probably don't need. So I will discard up to two. I'll discard these two hands and then draw two cards for each card I discarded. And I discarded two, so two each means a total of four cards. So that's really useful. And look, I got two hands back and I did not actually get what I thought I needed, which which was um, an extra sword. Because I was gonna try to go for this one. Um, and that's fine, um, because what I could also do if needed is any monsters I defeat, I could exhaust to use this icon towards defeating a monster. It's, for, it's gonna be exhausted until a card effect could make it unexhausted. So once I use it, I kinda just use it for good. But let's see, maybe there's something else I can do. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll get this haunted armor. I can satisfy those. Um, I'm gonna do these. Yep, that works. So haunted armor is defeated. 
So shuffle your hand into the deck, then draw that many cards plus two. So it's one, two, three, four. So I draw six after I shuffle it into my deck. And then I still get to draw my card because I have rogue. I, when I defeat a monster, draw a card. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I draw a card. Awesome. So what else do I need? I do need this green, so I'm going to try to go for that green. And I think I can. Um, let's see if this is... So anytime you, you can't use any of these, um, you can always draw. But just keep in mind, when you draw and your deck runs out, you lose the game if you haven't um, won by, the, by then. So I'm going to draw and hope to get a sword. Um... I didn't. Uh, I need a lot of swords, though. But I could exhaust cultists for the sword, so I'll, I'll do that. So I'll take these. Um, I actually need two hands as well. I shouldn't have done this. Let's see. I guess I could kill the monster first. So let's... The dragon. Should I do the dragon? Hmm... Let's keep going. Let's see what happens. All right. So I got my two hands. Perfect. So I am going to use this sword. Use this sword. Use this hand. And use this hand. And now I've killed the Cyclops. It's my second green. My first green. And it says shuffle the arsenal, then draw any two cards in the arsenal. So I'm going to shuffle it, and then I draw any two. One, two. And I'm guessing I just put them back out. Alright, so let's see. I do need this Minotaur. I do need two gloves, though. Um, let me see if I get it. Oh, I got my sword that I needed before. Another sword. So I think I'll take out something that requires swords. Um, I will take this one out. So two swords, a glove, and then a helmet. That's dead. The dragon's dead. And this is a bonus. So I draw a card. And then a trophy says reverse the order of the monsters in any column. And I think I'll go ahead and do it here. So just reversing it. All right, and then now we continue on and I will I will defeat the witch. Exhausting dragon to get that sword. Now I just need two wands. Okay, so discard these. And then now I've killed the witch. And that's my second blue, which that's all I needed. Now this effect, this loot says, you may discard three cards from my, from my hand. If I do, defeat the front monster of any column. Um, so maybe I'll do that. I'll discard um, these three hands, uh, these three cards, and I'll defeat um, the front monster of any column. And it's gonna be this one. The automat maton. Um, and that's gonna be my second um, my second one of these. And I need two of those. So I need one more green and two more of these. I think I'm in good shape. Um, but it looks like nothing I need is really oh wait, no, I could I could get the minotaur. So um I think I have to draw a card. I don't think I did that yet when I defeated the monster. And then, let's see what happens. Ooh, the Reaper looks good. That effect says defeat the front monster of any column. So I think I'll go ahead and do that. I'll use this wand, this hand, and then these two helmets. 
to defeat the Reaper. And it does say defeat the front monster of any column. I'll go ahead and do that and defeat this one. Um, and then it says, well, I'll, draw, I'll draw my card. It says, you may shuffle and deal the monsters into four columns. I may. And I think that I will because I need these two to win the game. So I'll go ahead and shuffle and maybe deal them out. So I'm just going to go across to make the four columns. Okay, so this is good. I need a stone, stone golem and the skeleton. Um, and then since I defeated this monster and it was not an icon that I actually needed, and I get to do my trophy, which is reverse the order of the monsters in any column. Um, and I think that's... It's fine the way it is. That's fine. So I'm not going to do that. I think I could have done this earlier before, but oh well, missed that chance. Um, so I'm definitely going to probably run out of my deck and lose, but let's see. Okay, I got two swords. And I need a wand and a helmet. So I could exhaust this for the helmet. So I exhaust that for the helmet. Use two swords in my wand. Get the stone golem. Um, that's the third one. Now this one flips over. And it says, when a helmet is dealt to the arsenal, discard the top card of the deck. So that's not good. Um... And then at this point, I will draw my last card, and that means the deck runs out, and I've lost the game. I was really close, though. I just needed this last one. Um, not really close. I don't think I was close, but I did need just one more. That would have satisfied all these um, requirements to win the game. Um, but yeah, overall, this, this is a very, very easy to learn game. Um, a great game to just bring uh, if you ever wanted to um, travel or have something quick in your pocket. Um, I think overall this game is actually not as complex as I thought it would have been um, with all of these different monsters. But um, I think when you change up the heroes, that's when it gets a little more interesting. Uh, the Rogue is definitely one of the easier ones. And I believe they actually recommend using the rogue as one of your first um, characters. But as you can see, there's just so many. Um, all of these are, are characters, I believe. So um, There's a lot. And then also some of them are double-sided. And you can tell by the notated um, skull icon. So these are harder. So this one says you need four of these pinks. But when a monster is defeated, reveal any... Um, crown in that column so that's not good because you don't want a monster to get um on the other side to make it into a king um yeah you don't you, you want to try to avoid that um, a monster king so that definitely would make it make it harder to to win um yeah there's just lots of great art i love this type of art as, as like a almost like the pixel type art um, very old school and that's kind of what I enjoy seeing in board games sometimes because it's it's interesting you don't you don't see this type of art these days it's not modern right um, uh, this this kind of looks like my my cat Daphne who passed away a few a few weeks ago but yeah I just love the the different types of artwork they have here very um very fun to look at I've yet to even look at all of them but it looks like um there's plenty of cat so I'm actually fostering a cat right now Her, his name is Sushi and this will probably be, be him if he was in this game <laughs> all right um well that's pretty much it here I wanted to just do a quick playthrough of Puzzle Dungeon again it's available on Etsy and I will put the link in the description so that you can go check it out 
Um, the price point is very good. Um, there's even a print and play option as well, I believe. So um, definitely worth checking out. I don't think um, you'll ever get bored of this game. There's lots of uh, room for uh, replayability. Um, some of them, some of this game could seem like luck driven because it's like you're at the mercy of the draw of the card, but there's definitely a lot of strategy because you have those monsters that you defeated and you can exhaust them to use the icons, um, which I probably could have done more of instead of drawing for the cards, um, the icons I needed. So um, definitely take that into account because there's, there's strategy you can use there. And there's also strategy in the order of the, um, order of the monsters that you end up uh, defeating. So um, I really enjoy this. I love it. Um, I would love to also see more of a a larger spread, not, not so much a spread, but maybe like a um, an expansion that actually expands the gameplay a little bit. Uh, I think there's potential for that. So um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this playthrough, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.